Hey everyone, welcome back to Bee's Kitchen. I am hoping you're all doing well. Today I have this delicious recipe for you, my favorite Nigerian stew, which is ayamashe, also known as designer stew. If you've never had this stew before, ayamashe is mainly made with bell peppers, some meat, and of course palm oil. Guys, you are certainly in for a treat. So stay with me and let's get started. I'm going to start prepping my meat and I'll begin with placing my cow foot meat on a baking tray. Next, I'll bake the cow foot in a preheated oven at 200 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because once the cow foot goes in the oven, the meat will detach itself from the bone. This will make it easier for me to remove the meat from the bone and also this will shorten the cooking time of the cow food. We all know cow food takes a very, very long time to cook. Whilst the cow food is baking in the oven, I'm going to add the rest of my meat to a pot and I'm using goat meat. I have some boneless beef and finally I have some tripe also known as shaki. Feel free to use any type of meat of your choice. Um, next I'm going to blend my vegetables which I'll be using to cook my meat. So in a blend I'm going to add some onions, ginger, garlic and scotch bonnet. I will add enough water to the vegetables and I'll blend until it is smooth. Then next I'm going to go ahead and pour the blended mixture on the meat. As I've added the blended mixture, I'm going to go ahead and season my meat using my preferred seasonings of choice. Feel free to season your meat using your preferred seasonings of choice. Next, I'm just going to mix everything together. I will then cover and allow the meat to simmer on low to medium heat until the meat is nice and tender. So about 15 to 20 minutes later, I have taken the cow foot out of the oven and I also allowed it to cool down before I go ahead and remove the meat from the bone. So using the kitchen shears, I'm just using that to remove the meat from the bone. And as you can see, I have finished removing all the meat from my cow foot. And now I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the cow foot meat to the rest of the meat, which I am cooking. And I'll just allow this to cook with the rest of the meat until it is nice and tender. I'm now going to go ahead and check on my meat to ensure that it is nice and tender and to do this I'll be using a fork just to poke some of the meat and if that um, slides through this will indicate that the meat is nice and tender and is ready and as you can see it has. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to remove the meat from my pot and I'll place this on a baking tray because I will be grilling the meat in the oven because I want my meat to have this beautiful brown color to it. However, if you wish not to brown your meat in the oven, that's entirely fine. Next, please set your meat stock aside. Do not discard this. You are going to need it for your stew. So once you set the meat stock aside, place your meat in the preheated oven and just allow it to grill for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, it has this beautiful brown color to it. So I'm just going to set this aside for later use. 
now for me i cannot have ayamashi without some boiled eggs so i'm going to go ahead and boil some eggs and if you do have some eggs please ensure that you add this to your stew you will not regret it now for the ayamashi stew you're going to need some bell peppers and traditionally when it comes to ayamashi it's green bell peppers that is used for the stew but i decided to mix my bell pepper so i'm using just a little bit of the red bell pepper and loads of the green bell pepper i also have some scotch bonnet and when it comes to the scotch bonnet please use as much or as little as you like i have some onions and what i'm going to do is i'm going to blend all the bell peppers together and then i'll blend the onions and the scotch bonnets together so i'm going to be using a vegetable chopper but you can also use a food processor to blend your bell peppers and what i'm going to do is when i'm blending i'm not going to blend to a fine consistency because you do want the bell peppers to blend to a coarse consistency so not too fine now once you have finished blending your bell peppers you're going to need a nut milk bag we all know that bell peppers contained a lot of water and as i was blending i did not add any water so once you have blended all your bell peppers add it to a nut milk bag and then next you're going to extract the water from the bell peppers you do need your bell peppers to be dry for the stew so just add all your bell peppers to the nut milk bag and then literally squeeze the nut milk bag to extract all the water from the bell pepper. So now that I have extracted all the water from the bell peppers, I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in a bowl and now i'm just going to use a spatula just to separate everything next i'm going to go ahead and blend my onions and scotch bonnet and again i'm not going to blend those to a fine consistency i'm actually going to blend it to a coarse consistency and then i'll go ahead and mix everything together right so this is the consistency that i am looking for when i blended the onions and the scotch bonnet so i'm just going to go ahead and pour this mixture with the bell pepper and then i'll go ahead and mix everything together okay so now time to actually make this stew i'm going to add enough palm oil to a pot now when it comes to ayamashi this stew likes oil and i don't know why <laughs> so just ensure that you add enough palm oil to the pot next you're going to allow the oil to bleach now when it comes to bleaching this is basically allowing your oil to turn pale on low heat and guys i cannot emphasize this enough please bleach your palm oil on low heat so this is the color that you are looking for once it is nice and pale once it's pale please allow the oil to cool down for about five minutes before you go ahead and add your onions so once the oil has cooled down go ahead and add your onions and just simmer until the onions is nice and fragrant next you're going to add the iru this is very important when it comes to ayamashi so don't forget to buy some iru also known as locust beans you can find this in any afro-caribbean um, shop just ask and then they'll point you to the right place next i'm going to add some crayfish powder I'll mix everything together and allow the iru, the onions, the palm oil, and the crayfish powder to just infuse with one another. And I'll just allow this to simmer for one minute. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my bell pepper mixture and then mix everything together and allow this to simmer on low to medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes.
Now, whilst the stew is simmering on low to medium heat, guys, please don't forget to stir every so often to minimize burning. About 15 to 20 minutes later, as you can see, the stew is coming together really nicely. And at this point, it smells incredible. I'm just going to add my meat stock and then the boiled eggs. I'll mix everything together and allow the stew to continue to simmer until the oil rises to the top. And this is exactly what I am looking for. The oil has risen to the top really, really nicely. Guys, the stew smells amazing. I am, oh my goodness. I won't even talk plenty. <laughs> I just added my meat and I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together. I will then allow the stew to continue to simmer for further five minutes oh my goodness i wish you were in my kitchen this juice smells amazing and i cannot wait to enjoy it also guys please don't forget to taste and adjust seasonings if needed And the Ayamashi stew is ready, guys. I cannot emphasize enough. This is my favorite Nigerian stew. This stew is everything. It tastes amazing. If you've never tried it before, you have to try this recipe. And I'm telling you, it's going to be your favorite too. I am going to enjoy this with some boiled rice, some fried plantain. It's going to be a party. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly please click on that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, comment below and click that notification bell which will notify you whenever I post delicious recipes like this. Enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye!